for a while now, and as you're saying too, it looks like we are going to get it. But that rain could lead to flooding concerns. Meteorologist Natalie Nunn is here to explain, but Natalie, the ground is so dry, you would think the water would just soak it all up. You know, that is what you would think, but when the ground is this dry, that always isn't the case. Now, I want to show you some video that I took this morning. This is typically a retention pond in front of my house, and clearly it is very dry. Dry soil absorbs moisture more slowly than wet soil does. This soil is what they call hydrophobic. Hydrophobic soil is soil that repels water, making it difficult to absorb. Hydrophobic soil, which is a mouthful, creates a surface layer that resists water from soaking in, almost like concrete. This can lead to increased storm water runoff and a rainstorm after a drought like we've been seeing could cause more runoff than if the ground were normal. So flash flooding is a concern for tonight and tomorrow morning. Now Tom talked about the rain that we will be seeing tonight, but looking a little more into the future, this could be a significant rainfall event over the next seven days. I have a feeling flash flooding will be a major concern at this time as right now three to five inches could be possible, especially for our western counties, but it looks like widespread rain throughout the Ozarks. Now, of course, your most accurate weather team will be keeping you up to date on all the details. You can check out OzarksFirst.com or on our weather app. Angela? Yes. Thank